I've got a project here, and it's what famous people have said about the phrase, if in doubt. So I'm going to use this to make our film. The theme of this film is if in doubt. And I've been looking up sayings about if in doubt. And one of the sayings about if in doubt is, if in doubt, be outrageous. Dress outrageously. As we are. Exactly. Now then, what other sayings have we got if in doubt? Let's have a look. When in doubt, do the courageous thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, like us, coming on film in these outrageous costumes. Exactly. We're being courageous. Yes, we're not thinking about ourselves in the normal way. No. Got my elf costume on. You have? Yeah. And, and look at my trousers. Penguins. Penguins. Yeah. Now we've got a good one here. When in doubt, mumble. Oh yes. That makes me think of my mother. She would write me these long letters all through my life. It was lovely to get them, but they needed deciphering because her handwriting was a little bit like a little insect that walked across the page. But she explained later why she did that. She said because she was in, not in, doubted the, the quality of her spelling as a child and she knew she was a bad speller. She perfected this writing, this handwriting, where you couldn't actually decipher what she was writing, so it hid the spelling. I see. So in a way, that's what she was doing, sort of, if in doubt, mumble. It was illegible. When in trouble or doubt, run in circles and scream and shout. Would you be able to just do a little bit of that? I think so. I think you're more, more fit than me. <coughs> oh, that was loud. <laughs> <laughs> that was very loud. That was very loud. <laughs> yeah. Herman Walk. Herman Walk said that. He's a novelist, I think. <laughs> when in doubt, make a fool of yourself. That's to kind of distract from the fact that you don't know. You don't know. That's what used to happen in my classroom at school. There lots of children making a fool of themselves all the time. They were doubted, doubted whether they wanted to be educated, weren't they? They wanted to distract the, their peers from the feeling that they might be stupid. So Aha. doing something... Silly instead, that yes. causes a laugh, so, entertains. Uh, if in doubt that you're actually up to achieving the intellectual standard that is required, then make a fool of yourself. Yeah, get the attention another way. Yeah. Do something wild and... Like we have been doing. And silly and, and wear a, a hat. Exactly, exactly. It doesn't fit. I've got another one here. If in doubt, dress, dress in, in red. <laughs> but if you don't like red, let's go back to what we were in. <laughs> now, here's a good one for us. When in doubt, throw it out. I think it's more about saying that if you if you were going to declutter, mm -hmm. and you start going through things, yeah. and you look at something and you think, do I want it or not? Shall I keep it or not? As soon as you've got that little bit of doubt, throw it out. But maybe, for the sake of a marriage, just throw out your own stuff. That should be it, shouldn't it? Just throw out your own stuff, own stuff, for the sake of the marriage. This is good advice we're giving here, isn't it? And if you're in doubt as to whether your partner wants you to throw something out, don't. Don't ask them first. <laughs> or what about if you don't really know whether it's yours or your partner's? Well, just throw it out without them knowing. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> when in doubt, look intelligent. Now, we remember your sister used to do this, didn't she? So, if you doubted something, you would just pretend that you knew it. Like a load of old bull, you know, you'd go on and on and see if you knew all this stuff. And you'd... she used to amaze me sometimes because I'm um, somebody over here her talking to somebody about a subject that I knew she knew absolutely, absolutely nothing, nothing about. about. <laughs> but she talked with such confidence. Talked the hind left legs off a donkey. Because I think people believed her and I used to tease her about it afterwards. <laughs> and of course, what 
you, uh, what you're doing there is a, a common phrase you hear nowadays, fake it until you make it. Oh, is that the same? Well, well, you learn on the job. Oh. So you may not know about a subject, but you can just keep one he step ahead of your students or whatever, so that you gradually build up that knowledge. And then, hey presto, if in doubt or danger, run in circles and scream and shout. I think we've done that, but we also then remembered um, Dad's army, Jones. Oh yes. Jones. Don't panic, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. Whoa. Don't panic, don't you, panic, don't you, panic. You've just panicked the camera right off. Oh, no. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so is that back on me now? It's back on you, yes. Back on me, right. <laughs> uh, okay, so that was it. So that would be Jones in Dad's Army. When in doubt, be ridiculous. Ah, now this, this we thought of Brexit and the Brexit coach with saving how many ever millions it was on the side of the Brexit coach. So... That was obviously completely ridiculous. Boris is ridiculous. The coach was ridiculous. Ah, when in doubt, dance, dance out. Now this is quite a good one. This is by Miley Cyrus. So say you're at a party and you're not quite sure whether you want to be there or not. You dance out the door. Mm. You've got the music going and you dance out. And people don't notice that you've danced out because you're in the in the mood. But when you dance out, you pick up your coat and you're off. Because you're not a party person. When in in doubt, blame it on the dark elves. Or you could blame it on the fairies, couldn't you? <laughs> when we used to foster, uh, we had a lad. We had to buy him some trainers. They only lasted one day at school because he, he traded them in for some football cards or something like that. He said they were long gone, those trainers, didn't he? I don't know whether he blamed it on the dark elves or the fairies, but he also had um, some homework that he lost down the drain, didn't he? That's right. His his teacher said, "Have you done your homework?" And he said, "Yes, I have. Um, I did. I I did finish my homework, but um, on the way to school, it slipped out of my bag and went down the drain." So, if in doubt, <laughs> put your homework down the drain. <laughs> when in doubt, stand still. That would be in acting, wouldn't it? Julie Andrews said that. When in doubt, stand still. That's a good, good idea in acting, isn't it? I think this kind of brings us on to um, our final one. What is that one, then? If in doubt whether a project is complete, say... Enough, enough is enough. enough. The end. The end. <laughs>